Hello everyone, welcome to Tubwes 730. We give information about AI's latest technological news. Please stay tuned and like, comment, and subscribe to my channel. Come, let us connect to the video and start exploring. Researchers at Washington State University have created a robotic bee that is capable of full flight in all directions. The B++ prototype is the first to fly steadily in all directions. It has four wings made of carbon fiber and mylar, as well as four lightweight actuators to operate each wing. The B++ successfully completes the six degrees of free movement that a typical flying insect demonstrates, including the challenging yaw motion. The team behind the study, led by Nestor O. Perez, associate professor in the School of Mechanical and Materials Engineering at WSU, publishes its findings in the IEEE Transactions on Robotics Journal. At the end of this month, Perez will present the findings at the IEEE International Conference on Robotics and Automation. According to Perez, scientists have been working on creating artificial flying insects for more than 30 years. They might one day be utilized for a variety of tasks, such as artificial pollination, confined space search and rescue, biological research, or environmental monitoring, even in scenarios of danger. However, even enabling the small robots to take off and land requires developing controllers that function like an insect brain. It combines robotic design and control, he claimed. You create a sort of artificial brain that control is very mathematically complex. Although some refer to it as hidden technology, nothing would operate without those brains. A two-winged robotic bee was first created by researchers, although it had limited mobility. In 2019, Perez and two of his doctorate students created a four-winged robot that could fly for the first time. The researchers create torque that turns the robot along its two major horizontal axes to perform two maneuvers known as pitching or rolling by making the front wings flap differently than the back wings for pitching and the right wings flap differently than the left wings for rolling. But he added that it's crucial to be able to regulate the complex yaw motion. Without it, robots lose control and are unable to focus on a task. They then crash. He said, if you can't control yaw, you're super limited. If you're a bee, this flower is for you, but if you can't manage your yaw, you'll be spinning in circles while trying to get there. Additionally, having all degrees of movement is essential for evasive maneuvers or tracking things. The situation is quite difficult, and the system is highly unstable, he said. Despite having theoretical ideas for years on how to regulate yaw, no one was ever able to do it because of actuation limitations. The researchers took a cue from insects and adjusted the wings so that they flap in a plane with an angle, enabling their robot to rotate in a controlled way. Additionally, they increased the robot's ability to flap its wings from 100 to 160 times per second. Part of the solution was the physical design of the robot, and also invented a new design for the controller of the brain that tells the robot what to do, he stated. The B++, which has a wingspan of 33 millimeters and a weight of 95 milligrams, is still larger than real bees, which weigh about 10 milligrams. It is mainly linked to a power source through a cable because, unlike actual insects, it can only fly independently for around 5 minutes at a time. Further types of insect robots, such as crawlers and water striders, are also being researched by the researchers. Please do like, comment and subscribe.